momentum, momentum, momentum. It's the basic sorgonomics here. Recording, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's post-podcast day, late and in the early morning of your uh, July 29th, 2015. I hope you're getting your Windows 10 today. I actually want to double-check this and see if I'm getting my Windows 10 right now. Is that upgrading yet? Mm. Hmm. 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 Uh, but uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you're getting your Windows 10. We talked about that a little bit on the Awesome Cast here just a few hours ago, as of this recording. But anyways, I want to talk about momentum, as I was saying. Uh, you know, a lot I'm thinking about before. Before I went on vacation and got to uh, kind of stew over a little bit here uh, over the last uh, a week or so. Of course, uh, stemming uh, originally from well, a, a talk I had a few weeks ago with somebody and uh, even uh, more so my conversation with Justin Kanaki as we discussed uh, being a co-founder of PodCamp Pittsburgh. And, and he's always good. He's always been a good motivation for me. Um, he's been the uh, guy that went out there and 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 uh, you know did the freelance thing, did his own thing, and then was one of those guys that kind of inspired me to do the same and followed similar-ish footsteps. And of course, uh, it made me think about uh, if you are an independent worker, if you are uh, actually not even if you're just an independent worker. I, I I'm hoping this is a conversation that can uh, kind of you know. I don't want a lot of the conversation. I want. I don't want to be like the quit podcast uh, that, which is an actual podcast I listen to on the Five by Five Network, where the whole thing is, yeah, whatever you're doing right now sucks, and you need to quit your job and do your own thing. That is not for everybody. It's not the answer. I'm still trying to figure out if it's the answer for me, to be quite honest, as I'm doing this business thing and trying to figure out if I, you know, this is something that's going to work. In in. Honestly, I'm not going to have an answer until years down the road, probably, when it comes to this kind of thing. If, if it was a success, if it was a failure, and some tell me, look, you've done X, and, and, and that is a success in itself. But anyways. Uh, so, so momentum, momentum, momentum. Again, I, I just, it's not just leaving your job to do your thing. It's are you moving forward. It, it, to me, I've always had in the back of my head... That if I go to a job and work and 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 keep pushing, keep pushing, there should be a ladder of success, whether it be monetarily, whether it be credit, whether it be uh, uh, your elevation in a company or in skill set or as as a professional. Like that was always ingrained with me, and that's one thing that I think is the reason why, probably one of the major major reasons why. Um, I stepped away from a day job because when the when they told me that I was hitting a ceiling of what I was going to make there and there was no progression forward, that didn't work for me. And now I know I I, I feel mistakenly, uh, certainly uh, had this notion that if I'm sitting there and doing my work and doing this, I get the better job, I get the better job, I get the better job, I get the better house, I get the better car, you know. Again, the very... Uh, 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 physical things not that that's exactly what I'm, I'm aiming for now and and i saw that not happening i see other people that not happening to that are my age and feel like they're in the same place they were uh several years ago uh and realize you need to do something more than just follow the line i think a lot of us get stuck you know, whether it be that job, whether it be something, I think you need to look at that job and say, well, I have a job and it's what it is and we're not going any further. Some people can be perfectly happy with that. I'm not a person that's perfectly happy with that. And I think a lot of people out there are and they just don't know what to do next. And I think that's very important. You know, you know, there's 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 certain aspects of uh Am I learning something new? I say you never stop learning, right? You're always reading stuff. Uh, you know, you're always trying to grow. And, and for me, uh, and I think even as we're, we're talking about things lately, like if you're a Flash developer, I really you hope you grow into another skill because that's going away. Um, and, and those jobs are probably becoming more and more scarce. But that could have turned into so many other animation opportunities or, or other things like that or or if you're a video professional and you never moved away from the final cut seven several years ago and, and didn't slide yourself into a premiere that's still growing or the the, the new version of final cut you're not going to grow as a professional and uh your skill set has been locked into that spot and those opportunities will go away go away go away um 
so when you're looking at where you're at, um, you know, I, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, if you're in your nine to five job and you're in, and, and, and what, well, uh, I, I think a good employer has those growth opportunities, you know, uh, whether it be promotion, from promoting from within, um, um, the right scale of, uh, uh, promotion of, of raises, et cetera. I think, I think that can be a, a lot to make you feel like you're moving along. But then there's also the idea that you should really leave your job every two to three years to find another one. And that may be the other way to raise your pay scale. That was a LinkedIn article that I read sometime. And I really think it kind of applies in a lot of ways to a lot of people. So, and falling back to what I'm doing here. I know when I'm working day to day. I know I get mired in the details. It's like, okay, we got to put the podcast out. Okay, we got to get the podcast out. Okay, we need to do this. Okay, we're doing this. We're okay. We're working with this client. But I'm never, I know one trap that I fall into is I'm so worried about the work that needs done now. I'm not looking forward to what needs done next to the point where, uh, where, where is the next thing going to grow me from where I'm at right now? Uh, whether that be finding better clients, bigger clients, uh, more lucrative clients, growing the business, growing stuff. Uh, I know I get in a trap, especially when I'm looking at the podcast. I feel like we're doing this, 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 and but we're not growing out, right? I'm just like, well, we have this many people doing this. We have this many people doing this, and that's it. I think we've done a lot lately, especially with the Wrestling Mayhem show. I've been sitting down with Will a little bit and saying, okay, what do we need to take this to the next level? Like, what needs improved? How is this show doing right now? And uh, having conversations with other people, again, kind of getting those mindsets that are looking at what we're doing from the outside. I'm too mired in, in the day-to-day -day of getting this done to see what is that next step. And, and I think that's where surrounding yourself with great people really helps that. Um, I came back from my vacation here. I had a few items Um whether find people to fill certain holes around the company to, to grow some things that I think are lacking, some things that I think are mature, but don't know how to turn that crank to monetization or whatever the case may be. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those reasonable voices and those reasonable skill sets that can work with us lately. That's how I'm adapting that and, and, and trying not to stay still. Not that I'm, and again, I don't want to confuse that with I'm just sitting here with my thumb up about it watching WWE Network. We're making things, and even the project coming out this week, I think, is going to be a very large growth and awareness opportunity. Um, we're, uh, hopefully, I need to check in with my developer, but uh, we're relaunching a, a new website, and that's something that I've also taken some people and says, okay, can you do this aspect of this? Can you do this aspect of this? I got somebody to make the website so I didn't have to. And and we're going to put him in this aspect of that. And, and, and so I can concentrate and step back and look at that big picture. Because this is something that needs to be done for the rebranding. This is something that needs to be done so we can grow. Whether that be segment this out to another business by itself at least there's going to be a clear definition. Uh, so what am I getting down to? How do we wrap this up? Don't stay still. Don't stay still. You, uh, again, if you're in a job, never stop looking for other jobs. There's, your, there's one way to be a growth opportunity. Um, never settle in with the day-to-day. -day. And some people... This is hard. Some people just aren't built this way. But if you know you want better, but you don't know how, start looking for opportunities. And there's a whole other series of things we could talk about there, about how do you break that down and everything. But if you always keep moving and trying to move up and trying to, as I've mentioned, that next thing that maybe scares you a little bit if you attempt to pull it off and you get over that fear of the failure of that a little bit or you just edge a little bit a little bit bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger you know it's like the podcast we've done things a little bit a little bit bigger maybe add another podcast maybe uh try try adding on 
video, maybe try adding on uh, guests, maybe try adding on these sort of segments, this sort of entertainment, until eventually that thing grows and becomes an awesome whole. So food for thought, it's kind of where my head is right now. What do you think about a uh, kind of movement, motion, uh, your momentum as a professional, as a business, as whatever the case may be? And uh, I'll leave you with that. My tired post-podcast day ramblings will be a little fresher here for the next couple of days. Please check out everything, SorgatronMedia.com. Those will be rolling out throughout Wednesday, all of our podcasts of the night. And we'll, and please check out the Virgil, Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table available on DVD and digital download via joe-dombrowski.com where the digital download will be over at pittsburghwrestling.com as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.